Hi everyone! Today we are going to create a homing missile node for the Godot game engine. This video is part of my Godot fight series where we create the game being played in the background. Let's get started! So, this is our project. I've already imported all the assets I need. I have an HDRI for the sky and an explosion sound. I've imported some prequisites from older videos. I've imported our explosion scene with the fire and shrapnel and a single function called explode which just emits the particles from those two particle emitters. I have the jet scene, which is simply this jet. I have the target scene we created, and uh, this target is just going to move up and down and rotate, and it has an instance of our explosion node and it is an area that triggers whenever specific objects interact with it and we can look at the code we have an explode function which calls the explode function of our explode node we hide the visualizer and disable other collisions and play the, col the collision sound and we have the on target area entered and wherever a missile enter this area we explode and that's it. We will now go over our missile code and we can see how we implement it. So, the missile scene is a simple scene. All we have here is this s simple visualizer I made for the missile itself, a collision shape for the missile area, and a jet. So this is the setup of the missile and we are going to go to the code. So as I said, the missile is an area. It has three parameters. The lifetime, which is two seconds. After two seconds, the missile is going to self-explode. We have the steering force, meaning how quickly can the missile turn. And we have the speed, meaning how quickly can the missile move forward. We have two parameters, the velocity and the target, which is a spatial node. So we can continuously update our target location. We will now go over our function. So the first one is the physics process override function. We are going to, first of all, if we have no target yet, we are simply going to do nothing. After that, we are going to get the updated target location using the global transform origin of the target. We are going to get the desired velocity, meaning what is the optimal velocity we need to move at to get to the target in the shortest amount of time. So this is going to be the vector between our target and our current location. We are going to normalize it so we get a unit vector and we are going to multiply it by speed. So we always want to move at the top speed the missile can have. We then calculate the steering force needed. So we are currently moving at velocity and we want to move at desired velocity. So we calculate the vector between those two speeds. And again, we normalize it and multiply it by the steering force, meaning we now calculated the vector we need to add to our current velocity to get to the desired velocity. We update our velocity. We are rotating the missile to look at the direction of the movement and then we move with the updated velocity scaled by delta. If any of you have ever had experience with steering behaviors, so this is the most basic one, this is follow. Now we have two functions, one is called fire and one is called explode. I'm going to start with explode. Explode is currently a placeholder for any other behavior we want to happen when the missile explodes. Maybe we want some physics process that 
shatters debris everywhere or um, some nice animation but currently we are just going to free this node the fire function does the following it gets a target which is a spatial node and returns nothing it's setting our target to be the target sent to us we are starting the emission of the jet particles we are setting the missile to be top level because we want all movements to be in global space we set the initial velocity to be 0.2 of our speed and uh, the reason is I don't want the speed to immediately be at top speed I want it to slowly uh, ease into the top speed accelerate into it and we set it to be the forward facing basis times our speed so after these lines of code are called the physics process is going to move our missile towards the target now we're going to create a timer and wait for it to time out using a yield statement and whenever this timer times out we explode meaning freeing our node the last thing we need to handle is what happens when another area enters the area of the missile so I left both of those functions very simple for now if an, any other area enters our missile area we simply explode and that's it that's all the code needed to create a homing missile in Godot uh, we, we will now create uh, this test environment so we can have a nice view of how this works in practice so I'm going to create a new scene it's going to be a 3d scene I'm going to call it world and I'm going to save it in our resources under the missile folder maybe call it missile test we're going to add one target and we're going to add one missile and we can already see that currently the missile jet is running so we can simply set emitting to be false save it go back to our missile test and now I want to set the target low and the missile high and the reason is I have this HDRI that I created and I want us to look at the clouds with the camera so we'll have this nice view of what's happening to the missile I'm going to add a camera to the target I'm going to go to two view and I'm going to set one of them to be preview of what the camera sees and I'm going to zoom in on the camera by pressing F rotate up and I'm going to look to, for our missile and now we have it I can take the camera and start by maybe setting the transform to zero again taking it slightly down I think I like this view let's now go to our world node and add world environment and I'm going to create a new environment and I'm not going to do much just in the background I'm going to change to sky new panorama and I'm going to add this better skies panorama that I created and now let's go back to one viewport and we can see the missile in the background and we can see the cube in front of us I'm going to take the camera slightly and I'm going to set the far to be much further because I don't want the missile to clip and that is it let's run this scene Oh, sorry first of all we need to fire the missile itself so I'm going to create the script and in the ready function I'm going to take our missile I'm going to fire it at our target let's run again we 
can see our missile flying and exploding the target. One more time. The missile is flying and exploding. And now from slightly different angle. You saw the missile re rotating and hitting the target. And now for a different angle and slightly darker skies. So you can see the missile rotating and hitting the target. And that is it. With this tutorial, we finished creating all the building blocks needed for creating our simple dogfight game. In the next video, we are going to piece all the parts up and finish the project. If you want to see the final video as it comes out, consider subscribing to get notified. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments and I will answer. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.